Hello guys and welcome back to another reaction. Well, this time is best in show. Uh, that's the thing. Is it called best in show? The pre-show original short Mild Pony Equestria Girl season two. And yeah, this seems to be that is going to be a complete little new storyline to what we had before. I'm just going to go on their channel and see what were the others called. Oh, so they did not have anything in the beginning, but that was kind of like the girls being YouTubers or live streamers and all that. So this time, what is the next story going to be about? I mean, I can see a poodle as the little animal that they're showing. So I'm guessing this is going to be a Fluttershy one. Yeah, I think this is going to be a Fluttershy one, obviously. It's a Poodle, either a Fluttershy or Spike Twilight. So, let's go right into it. Jesus. But that was loud. Best in show, the pre-show. Alright, it's a Fluttershy Applejack one. Howdy, and welcome to the first annual Canterlot Pet Show. Sure is great to be here, ain't it? She's like, Applejack. <laughs> of course. To see all the wonderful contestants. <laughs> Alrighty then. You heard the lady. Let's meet them. This is the backstage area where the pets get fresh and sweet. <laughs> oh god, that guy. That comes with his right, pet robot. Mm-hmm. Fresh and spiffy. Oh, wow, well, look at this handsome fellow. Tell us about your pooch. Oh, the dog's a Boston <laughs> Terrier named... Banana. Anything else to share? Oh, <laughs> Banana's favorite snack is bananas. He loves his banana toy, and his favorite pastime is... <laughs> oh, what a cutie. All right. Oh, really? Obviously, this is Flash I can not communicate with the animals. Uh, I think the show will be starting soon, so we should wrap this up. I think we have time for one more quick interview. With Tank. Winona? Oh. What are you doing back here? With oh. Winona. <laughs> Winona only said that she wanted to surprise you by competing today. Huh. Yeehaw! We gotta get ready to win that gold. And Apple Bloom, of course. That's the signal. It's time <laughs> Jesus Christ, it took me a long time to recognize. Oh, yeah, Apple right. Bloom is there as well. Oh, poor Apple Bloom forgotten by me probably not that sad thing to be forgotten by me let's be honest it's probably a good thing all right yeah that was that one it seems recognizable was was this one of, of the shorts that was leaked the animatic was leaked because i feel like I recognize the parts of this. Kind of like I recognize the whole banana this, banana that, blah, blah, blah. I think I recognize it from somewhere, but I don't fucking remember if this was a animatic or not. But yeah, I guess the whole point about this one, for me at least, was more about just showing off <sighs> showing off some of Fluttershy's just abilities, just talk to different animals. And the fact that after she was talking she was quite reserved, quite shy, but as she started talking to animals she opened up a lot. So she got more comfortable, so I mean, the whole... This I like. Now, I'm gonna say this. Apple Bloom does seem quite tall, but look at her boots. So, I like this. I, I really like this Apple, Apple Bloom design. I haven't really looked into Apple Bloom's design. A much before because it's just been a background character. You kind of like who cares about background characters? 
but no, it looks pretty good. I wish she would have gotten some lions this, but no. <sighs> oh god. But yeah. I mean, this oh her cranky with his cranky. Oh fuck! What are they called? Tax tax ears. Those little hot dog hot dog dogs. Oh god. A French. Oh, what are these called? A Frenchie? Are, they, are that what these dogs are called? And Trixie has. I have no idea what the fuck that is. That's a cute dog. And oh, it's a toaster. Well, that's good. Then you could probably get some use out of this. I don't care about the guy with the crab. And then we have Tank, which I'm surprised we did not get an interview with. <laughs> 